In this video I'm going to show you how to uh, scroll between this here, your options for uh, what you see for your like your mileage, I don't know exactly the word to use for this, but like your mileage, your miles to get uh, from empty and MPGs, uh, what your controls will be right here. This is the same way for uh, the 2014 to 2016 Ford Escape SE models, but the one I'll be using now is a 2017 Ford Escape SE with a 2.0 EcoBoost engine. And your controls for it will be right here. Steering wheel from the 2014 to 2016 is quite a bit different from the uh, 2017 model. For example, the 2014 did not, the layout of this here was not right there. Uh, uh, if I recall right, your, uh, your uh, cruise control was on up here, if I remember right. But uh, to scroll from with that menu, uh, your screen may not by default be on that there, but if it's not, you'll use these up and down buttons to scroll from it. So pushing down, if it's at the top, it'll bring up that screen. That's your miles since your last reset, which I usually do that every time I fuel up. Oh, uh oh. You'll hold this button here to reset it all. You hold it down for a few seconds, and then it'll reset the, uh, the calculations behind the steering wheel. But uh, you'll scroll. Your first screen will be that one, which is your miles since your last fuel up, how many miles you've went since your last fuel up, I mean your MPGs, and if you drive right, baby you're driving, usually I go, usually I try to keep from going 70 miles an hour, because that's usually whenever I get right at 30 miles per gallon, pretty much like I am right now, but if you floor it, you'll lose your, you won't get near as many MPGs as you would if you was to ease, ease on up to, uh, the mileage you're wanting to go rather than just floor it and braking can affect it a little bit slamming on the brakes can affect your MPGs rather than easing on the brakes to slow down uh, another thing is run your air conditioner or heater all the way up that can affect your MPGs too by one or two but uh, scrolling and then this one here is your your uh, MPGs you're getting constantly while you're driving, which will constantly change. And then uh, this here is uh, your miles to empty, an estimated miles to empty. Like I said, if you are a trigger happy foot person, in other words, flooring the gas, uh, your MPGs and your miles to empty will decrease quite a bit. But uh, scrolling down, your next screen will be your speedometer. Next one will be your trip odometer. The next one will be your average fuel consumption, which is your MPGs. And then your instant fuel economy, which is while you're constantly while you're going, what it, you're estimating out to be. Distance to empty. And your trip timer, which is about the only way that would come in handy for anyone is like a if, for example, I was using this for this vehicle for the for a construction company and they was needing hours, then that would come in handy to try and tell how kind of help them better figure out the uh, average fuel consumption in terms of how long, how many, uh, how often it's idled compared to the MPGs you've been getting to kind of figure stuff out. I don't ever use the trip timer, but. Uh, that ends this video too, so...